Hello everyone. Um, this is a house. In this house, there is a door like this, and there is a window. Inside of this house, there is a man always sleeping on his bed. This man is always sleeping on his bed. He is a miser. He doesn't give anything to others. He has a lot of money, but he doesn't like to give money to others. He earns a lot. He has a lot and he stores his money inside of this house. That's why I told that he is a miser. He wanted to protect his money from the thieves. Therefore, he hangs a bell in this place. And he connects the bell to the window and to the door using two sensors. If someone comes and tries to open this door or window, a message from these two places goes to the bell and the bell is ring. Then this man can understand someone is trying to open the window or the door. Right? I um, will take this door as um, Y and I will take this I'll take this door as Y and I'll take this window as X and the bell is it, right? Uh, I'll write all the all of those three in a table like this. Um, X, Y and Z. Now you know X is the window. This is the window. And Y is the door. Z is the bell, right? And I will take opening process as 1 and close process as 0. Right? When we look at this house, the door is closed and the window is also closed. Then bell is not ringing. The closing process is 0. Now the door is closed. Uh, Yes, the door is closed. Why is the door? The door is closed and the window is also closed. In that time, the bell is not ringing. The ringing process is also, I will name as 1, but I wrote here 0 because the bell is not ringing now. One day, a thief comes to steal the money of this man. He comes here, he comes here and he tries to open this door. Then what happened is, opening process is one. I will write here, he tries to open the door. A message from this door goes to the bell. Then what happened is, the bell is ringing. Bell is ringing, but the window is closed. A message from this window doesn't go to the bell. The window is closed. And another day, the same thief comes and tries to open this window to steal the money. Window means X. A message from this window goes to the bell. Right? The window is open. Therefore, I will write here 1. Because a message from this window goes to the bell, the bell is ringed. Then, you can write as one but in this but in that case the door is closed the door is closed and one more day this man comes with his friend this man goes to this place and this man comes here he tries to open the door he tries to open the window and both of window and door open then what happened bell is ringing now you can see here this is called as truth table this is called as truth table of or gate of or gate x y and z here you can see x as the window here y as the door and z is the bell this is the real world concept this is the real world situation and this is the truth table related to ogate 
this is the o gate under the logic gate lesson in grade 10 this gate can name as o m according to this symbol we can write a boolean expression as z is equal x o y this is the symbol for o gate this can be named as the boolean expression and this is the symbol for o gate this is the truth table this is the real world situation real world concept so uh, this is the way we can uh, discuss o gate under logic gates in grade 10 syllabus there are five gates uh, under logic gates lesson one is o gate and and gate not none and no like that five gates we can find out this is only one gate under those five gates so next day let's discuss how to end gate uh, is used in the real world uh, situation so today uh, lesson is over now if you have any questions you can comment in the comment section and let's see how to use end gate in next day then thank you uh, have a nice day to all. Bye.